You got tape in me? Yeah. Stealing body parts? This is a crime. You're gonna kill everybody. <sighs> I already did. Murderer! Two minutes in of having her in the apartment and she's already wearing a witch hat and a dress. So, you excited? Thank you. <laughs> I don't find my bike. Look at that pretzel. <laughs> Look at, comparing it to Tim's hat, it's huge. <laughs> That's terrifying. Although it's trivia night and apparently we're, it's Chad Company, which is like music joke, lol. Although I'm happy because we're number seven. I'm excited about them. But mac and cheese bites, are they good? I haven't tried them yet. London Mule, which I don't know what the hell's in it, but it sounded very enticing. Is that the straight up Irish mule, Adam? Irish mule, yeah. Irish. What'd you say now? I'm just, the beer is that great. It is good. good. It is good. I like it. I like the other one. So we were team seven, and we were doing okay ish with the points. We had like <laughs> nothing for a while. We had 45 points at the end, and then we lost 20 because we didn't know all the Maroon 5 songs that hit number number one in Billboard. So we came in last. Way to go, guys. Way to suck at trivia. Yeah, he got uh, John Alleyway. He got us that point. He did get Bismarck. He did get that one. I did not know that Mississippi is above New Orleans. Yeah, he didn't know New Orleans, Louisiana. There was a state above it was Mississippi. All right, reigning champion. How do you feel about your win? I feel pretty great, even though I lost twice before that. That's true, you did lose. I did beat you the first time. I feel kind of confident because I beat the shit out of Tim's deck that he just made. And then I technically beat David, but he conceded. I conceded, yeah. But I still beat him. It was bad. I would have beat him had he not conceded, most likely, so. And then I lost badly to Tim. Granted, I was whittled down by Adam, so. Good idea. Ugh. Ew, I hate that. It was gross. I hate life. I want to die. Stop it! Why does it make me want to vomit? I don't like heavy breathing. I can't. It makes my skin crawl. It makes me want to die inside. Enjoy your popcorn. Your your house makes me die inside. <laughs> it's been a while because I've been sick. I'm actually still pretty much very sick, but today I feel better than I have been for the rest of the other days. But luckily, look who's also home with me all day. This one. Today is uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which means that we get a nice little holiday for to commemorate something that was very great in history. Actually, I technically don't, but it's just my day off. Well, I get it off. <laughs> His is just a day off. But I get it off to commemorate a great man in history. But um, we're going to try to do something productive today, despite the fact that I do feel iffy. Like, I don't, like, from here down, I feel like fine. From here up, I feel like I can't, I don't know, like it's just like a slobbering mess from every orifice, which is great. At least from here up, not from like, you know, back there. Because like, that's that's handled well. We're, I'm fine there. I'm fine. I'm okay. But we should be doing something very productive today, but pretty much all we've been doing today is, well, this. Android one, isn't that? I said, well, they have that for Android too. Hmm. Very fine. Yeah. Also, excuse the hair. Um, I just got out of the shower. I actually might just put my, my hood up for the rest of this clip. Pretty much all we've done all day is make a mess. Don't show oh, them dirty the laundry. <laughs> That's a bunch of dirty laundry that's been accumulating, and we just haven't had the opportunity to uh, deal with it. Which we're slowly doing today. Yeah, we're, we're finally getting to it. Um, it's already like 5 p.m. It's been a... Uh, well, I mean, we've done a lot. We, we hung some pictures over there. We got some pictures, too. and We um, 
cleaned a little bit in the bedrooms because most of that was still packed. And most of was that too. Yeah, a lot of laundry. And then I did a little bit of the extra room. Um, I'm hoping to eventually turn that into a shooting room too, like for videos and stuff, but it's like still not there. I don't know how I'm gonna get it to look at any more nicer. Um, just because there's, I, don't, I just don't know what to do with the stuff in there. It's almost like a storage room right now, which is a little upsetting. Uh, oh yeah, Dante, Dante enjoys his little fur. Uh, we have a blue, was it blue? It's like a blue Blue-ish screen, green. like a blue green fur. Aquamarine. Aqua. I don't know. On, on his chair and he's claimed that spot. So we kind of deem it as Dante's uh, blue throne as of right now, which is cute. It's kind of cute when he's in there. Uh, Cause you know, I don't know. It's just, you don't see like a cat curling up on stuff like that all the time. It's just really funny. Cute. I had a few pictures in the shot real quick. Yeah, uh -huh. I have one at least. I have one. Oh, do you? Um, but anyways, we're off to Target because we've learned we need um, hangers. Also, Vincent kind of has a boo-boo and I'm trying to fix him. And Vincent has a girlfriend. Oh, Vincent has a girlfriend, which I believe, yeah, we gotta shout him. We gotta shout her. Her. What's her name? I don't know yet. We haven't have a name. We, we still haven't figured out the name. We'll figure, we'll get there. But we're gonna go Target. Let's go. You buying stuff? No. Yes. Hangers. Oh yeah, we're buying hangers, but... Oh, we're look, buying look. hangers. <laughs> yeah, just hangers. Just hangers. Not just random wall decor. <laughs> I have a problem. A little bit. Hello, my name is Kiefer Walker, and I have a problem with shopping. Why is all this my aesthetic and why do I want all of this? These are so cute. I don't even know what I do with this, but I measure my food just to do it. I wouldn't give a shit. But now he'd break it. Uh, they're so cute. I like how these... I don't know why I love this, but these are cute. I love this so much. Why am I whispering? Oh, our next chair. I love this stuff. How much is this chair? 120. That's kind of cool. We need fake plants because we killed plants. Where are you? A planter. Look at this planter. It's like a, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I like it. This is my new look, everybody. Target's new line is my new look. What are you? I love these. We need this in our lives, Kiefer. How much are these? $7.99? Look, it's like a little scary. Oh, we can do Egyptian stuff. Oh. Ugh, I'm dying. Why am I like fawning over this? It's pretty sickening. My old lady brooch. <laughs> like, you got a bee on you! Ah! Ew, someone left their nuggets. Someone left their pudding. Like... People are gross. Dang. Oh, these are cute. Can we have this in our bedroom? Minus the broken part. So Vincent kind of broke, and I'm trying to fix him. Now this little piece thingy came here. Tinks for the scissors. This little piece fell off um, his leg here, and now I have to figure out how to get it back on. Now my thought is, um, I really don't know, but <laughs> but um, they have this stuff called flex shot and flex tape, and maybe it's supposed to be like rubberized sealant or whatever and it's like a thick adhesive or whatever so I'm hoping that maybe this will work I'm gonna try to put this on the sides and then put the tape over it and maybe that'll hold it into place that is my thoughts we shall see how this goes all right I glued a lot of it <laughs> hopefully this fixes it um, it's actually pretty cool it's like really really like precise Especially if you get like the hole like really at the top. So I'm excited to see if the, how this works because this is a really cool invention then if it is because this is a different type of glue. It's like rubber instead of like a super glue material. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I might not even have to use the tape so I could save the tape for something else but I don't know. Hopefully this works. Alright, stay tuned now. I don't want to say day two, like it's not, it's like day two of something, I guess. I mean, but the next day after using this flex shot stuff 
Now we're gonna really see if um, this stuff works. Now I have it on his leg, right there. You can see how badly I put it on there. It's kind of all over, but it's on the back of his leg, so it's whatever to me. But I'm gonna I'm gonna lift it from it. Okay, wow. It's not even like, whoa. All right, I mean, it's not even, it's barely moving. Like, I'm gonna tug slightly. Wow, okay, I can't even remotely move this. This stuff is pretty cool. I mean, it, it feels like, um, it feels like rubber. It is like a rubber silicone kind of base, I think. What is that? What is on you? Um, it is thick rubber adhesive. So that's why it feels like rubber. That makes sense. Also, yes, I'm still sick. I'm probably worse than it was yesterday, but I'm hoping to uh, get over it. I started feeling better and I pushed myself too far, but it's I. It's okay. I'll get through this. Ugh. It also sucks because this week is one, cold, and two, uh, busy for me because uh, the auto show is here in Detroit. Um, the North, in North American International Auto Show is here. Yay, 2018. Woo, yeah, exciting. Um, and I'm just like super not loving it. I'm not loving this this timing because I would have I would have liked it not to be um, this week and have this all whatever the hell's going on. But I'm gonna put Vincent back up. Yay, he's not dead. I didn't have to get a new Vincent. He stands. Look at him. He stands. Ignore the mess in the background that I still haven't cleaned yet. But he stands. I put a little bit more on the back because I think when I was screwing it in, I loosened it. I should just not put the screw in on the back. I mean, it goes in all the way. I don't really think I need the screw, to be honest. But he's alive, Vincent. You're alive. Legitimately, right now, because I feel like crap, making myself grilled cheese and heating up some leftover soup that my mom made me because I need to get better. Mm, I just feel so, I don't know, like I have a slight headache and I just feel it, I just feel it. It's all like here, I'm just over it. I'm over it all. Just want all the mucus and the grossness to just like leave my system forever. <sighs> I don't know when that's gonna happen, but look at this beautiful grilled cheese. Look at it, it's like I'm a freaking pro at making grilled cheese. Although I'm about to flip it. Let's see if it's a beautiful golden brown. Like some people like it burnt, but I want it a beautiful golden brown. Please don't be burnt, please don't be burnt, please don't be burnt. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. It is a beautiful, it's a little bit more done than I care for, but still it's a nice gold color that around there. Maybe it's a little bit more done than regular, but I am actually okay with that. I'm okay with that. It'll give it a nice little crunch, nice little texture. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Although, I want to ask you a question. And this is something I didn't do until I met Kiefer with grilled cheese. Um, how do you make your grilled cheese? Like, there's usually just three ingredients to grilled cheese. But with Kiefer, he adds a fourth ingredient that I've never heard of. And that is, well, I guess it depends on your preference. But, he adds... Miracle Whip. And I thought, why? Like, that's a weird addition to a grilled cheese. Like, on the inside of it, he puts a layer of Miracle Whip and then puts down the cheese. And it actually is very good. <laughs> like, you don't really taste it. It makes the cheese more, like, melty feeling. I don't know. It's like there's a really goodness to it. And I'm... I've, I've started doing it myself. So now there's four ingredients to my uh, grilled cheese recipe. Bread, butter, cheese, and Miracle Whip. Well, I really could care less about Miracle Whip. You know, it's whatever. You know, it's mayo is mayo to me. Like, I'm not in that argument uh, which one's better, mayo or Miracle Whip or no mayo at all. Like, I'm over here just like, I'm gonna go and like think about real problems in the world and not be a part of this debate. Granted, I'm sitting over here arguing about uh, which way is the proper way to make cereal, whether it be milk first or cereal first, but, you know, that's besides the point. First off, it's cereal first, and if you think otherwise, you're wrong. You're just dead wrong.
Now I'm gonna enjoy my frickin' grilled cheese that I hope isn't burnt on the other side now. Kiefer's home. So we're gonna celebrate with some sparkling apple cranberry juice. Ooh, and not alcoholic because we're not alcoholics. I mean, we could be, but I don't feel like drinking while I'm sick. Even though... Drop some vodka in there. Yeah, even though the one time I got really sick, it was like a summer cold and I couldn't beat it. I was like sick for like two weeks. Um, I went out partying because I just got, I got tired of sitting at home all day. Next day, all my symptoms gone. I was cured. Cured. So, I'm just saying, alcohol is, you know, sometimes the answer. What are you looking for? Where's the potato chips? I don't know where anything is. The chips anymore. are in the same place where they've been since we've like gotten here. We've I'm gone in there like a few confused. times. We put the chips down there. They've been there since we've been well since the beginning of time. Since the beginning of this thing existence. And he's still it's not figuring things out. Okay, it's okay. I keep going to the wrong drawers for silverware, thinking it's gonna be right here, but no, it's right here. Yeah, we're Every still getting time. we're still getting used to this. We're still getting used to this. So we may or may not be playing Lego Harry Potter. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> She's not a cat. Aww. I am. You better move up. Bitch, I am moving up. We are here to try. Jeez, oh, can you even see it? The fries. The nacho fries. Nacho fries. Nacho fries. They my, my fries. Bitch, get out. Oh, delicioso. I'm so excited. I'm gonna probably cry a little bit when we try these. I'm gonna like, I don't know. I'm probably gonna pass out if they're that good. Hopefully. You excited <laughs> if I pass out? Like you, look so, you look happy that I pass out. No, I'm gonna try them. Hopefully they're good. I know, I'm scared. I'm the a little fries, scared. Like, fries are like seasoning. I mean, I love seasoned fries, so I can only hope for the best. Like, I wish it was sort of, no, like- they're like steak and steak seasoned fries. Oh yeah, steak and shakes, cheese and fries. No, no, it was a disappointment. It was literally the French fries with like seasoning sprinkled on. Like you have that at the on table. The table. So I could have done, done this myself free. and not pay the extra thirty cents, girl. It was dumb. It was dumb. 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 It's time. It's time. Dante's excited. I know Dante. Well, he's a bitch. He's like stop, time. stop being excited for us, cause you're not getting shit. Nothing. Oh, oh, she's <laughs> like, you can bet. Oh, and the result. Really good. Really good. I'll try them myself now. Mm, we got them with um, beans instead of beef, obviously. Obviously. Mmm. These are super good. Taco Bell, you gotta keep this. This isn't something you need, like you need to take away. I know it's limited time. When you time. say limited time, you mean goes forever away for a week and then comes right back. back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yas, Baxter, do you mind? Do you mind? I oh oh fine. All right. Well, okay. I guess he doesn't mind.